G'day, Rick here and welcome to part two in this series of how to create and automate a daily note in Obsidian. Today's video is actually titled The Great Unfold, for want of a better term. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through the daily note that we went through yesterday and unfold the various headings and the components and just uh, give you a bit of a look at, at each one. So let's get into it, shall we? So on the screen here, you can see the daily note and I'm using the one from yesterday because it's got some information in it. So it's already pre-filled. And the first, the first thing at the top of the note is what activities that I've been engaged in for the last week. So let's unfold and let's have a look. So just by clicking the icon there, we can open that up and it shows the past seven days uh, activities, uh, how many hours that I've worked each day, broken up into the, the colours and the types of work that I've been doing. Uh, if that's the sort of thing that, that interests you, well then this is just a great way of showing um, what you've been engaged in for the last week and just gives you a visual indication when you're opening your notes. So that's the first thing that is in the note. So we'll close that one up because this is the idea is partially is to compact it down. Um, by the way, that is from the time tracking tool that I used and it's automated. I'm, I'm not filling that out each day. It just happens there uh, and I'll show you that in the, t in the setup about uh, managing the time. Second area is a call out and it actually pulls any articles that I have tagged uh, in, in my uh, vault that I need to write. And at this stage, I'm pretty well up to date. This one would have been in there yesterday, but it's now it's now already written and I'm just completing the video. So that one uh, is, done, is done too. Again, automatically pulled in through a data view query, which we'll get to. Um, now I'll close it down so we don't get confused here. And the next thing is tasks that I plan to accomplish soon. So these come in automatically as well. Uh, any tasks that I add to a note uh, that have got a, um, a no date, no start date on it, or the date for starting is in the future, will appear here. This list could get quite long, of course, which is another reason why it's worthwhile keeping things folded up and compacted. Uh, but at the moment, there's only a few things in there that I've, I need to uh, need to address, and I'll show you how I get those in there too um, when we cover when, when we cover the tasks plugin. Um, today's tasks, uh, these well, I'll look at this, none there because um, uh, this, because this is yesterday and I got them completed, so there's nothing there. But if there was anything that came up with a start date of today, then that's where it, which they would appear. Uh, and because I've got my today's note or my daily note on screen all the time or um, in the in the tabs all the time, and I generally always keep it to the left hand side, as you can see up here, uh, then. Uh, I can always refer back to this and I, I know what, what I need to do for the day. So that's the first several of them. Uh, and we'll close that one down. Uh, what happened today? This is again pulled in from the time tracking plugin. It lists what's happened uh, throughout the day and lists what time I've spent on different projects, computer time, what uh, videos I've done. I've written the article here about uh, doing daily notes to Medium. And um, I watched uh, uh, the video uh, of Nicole van der Hooven and Bianca Pereira yesterday as well, uh, delivering a great, uh, a great uh, video on, on uh, using a PKM for research. I'll put it in the notes so you can get it yourself. So that's the what happened today. And then I will put some information down here about other things as well. So here I've just put a highly productive day and, and most enjoyable. So that was the uh, that was the extent of my day yesterday. Uh, about seven hours work, I think it was. You can have a look up here. Activity, uh, Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, nearly seven hours. You can just see there on the graph. So they're the... Um, they're the benefits that you can get from, from these sorts of things. Okay, so let's go on and have a look at the next sections. Now in the next section is I, where I list what I've been reading or listening and watching uh, for the day. Uh, so here I've got this uh, digital transformation podcast that I listen to on my uh, walk uh, in the morning. 
And here's the link to the video that I watched with um, Nicole van der Hooven and Bianca Pereira on YouTube taking notes for academic research and knowledge creation. So that was a very good one. As I said, I'll put the link to that in the show notes because it's well worthwhile knowing those skills for building your note taking skills within the personal knowledge management system that you happen to be using. Uh, so we'll close that one down and have a look at the next one, ideas. This is where I record ideas. Well, to, yesterday was a blank day, uh, but that doesn't matter. It's only there to make sure that I, I, I put my ideas in if I do have any, uh, and then they'll go into a, a separate note, and I'll show you how I do that when we get to that section as well. So the next section that I've got here is today's wins. I like to keep a little bit of a record of any wins that I feel that I've had. Uh, one of them here is a personal one. We won't go into that, but um, another one here is a, an article and video published. Anything that I fi find is just something that I'm happy with for the day. That always uh, always celebrate your little little wins. Worthwhile to take a note of. So I'll close that one down, and then I'll have a look at what I'm grateful for today. So there's a couple of things that I was grateful for today, uh, and I'm talking about you know being able to pump out some work and the skills that I have in writing and video production, limited at all as they may be, at least I, I am able to push those things out. And I'm very grateful for that. I'm also grateful for the people who subscribe to the YouTube channel and the medium presence, because without them, well, then there's not really much motivation in, in doing these. So that's, that's why I, I think it's important to acknowledge what you're grateful for. Last section here is uh, what I'm struggling with today. All good, no issues, so that, that's good. But if I'm uh, you know, annoyed with somebody, I might make some notes there about it. If I'm uh, feeling a bit down, I might make some notes about it, just so that I've got a record of that. Okay, so the last section that we've got to look at, and I've moved over to today's note because I've been a little prolific this morning with my note taking, and I open that up, and it shows all the notes that I've created today. Um, and all the other, all the notes that I've modified today, and that's basically done with the data view call out, data view query, um, and that appears in every daily note as well. Uh, and again, I'll show you how to do that when we get onto that section also. Well, that concludes the great unfolding. In the next video, what I'm going to do is to show you how to set up a basic template to get that working. We'll just be putting the headings in. Uh, and then as we go through the various components that I have in mind, I'll show you how to add those bits, but it'll, be, it'll start you off on getting your template moving for what you want in your daily notes. So I'll see you then. Cheers.